If you have been following this channel for a while, you might have noticed a slight change in the bomb track's appearance on the front end. The Jones H-bar was swapped out for the Sonder Confucius bars. I've seen lots of comments asking why and what bars are now on this bike. So in this video, we shall take a look at the new Sonder bars. I will give my thoughts, the good, the bad, and switching from the Jones H bars, which ones are better and which ones do I prefer? And also why I decided to change. So let's get into it. Guess a good place to start is why I switched from the Jones H-Bar to the Sonder Bars. First of all, it's not necessarily going to be a permanent switch. I do still have the Jones H-Bar and they might make a return to the bomb track on occasions depending on the rides that I have planned. But the main reason I switched was after switching the bomb track to the smaller 2.6 inch tires and narrower rims, the bike itself became a bit more fun to ride, a bit more playful to chuck it around a bit more mountain bikey if you like so i wanted to try this bike out with a bit more of a traditional mountain bike bar with less sweep but of course the jones h bar has a very useful feature that loop and i didn't want to lose this as i find it great for mounting things especially the gps unit as it means i don't have to be looking down quite so much just to see it now, being quite a niche market, there isn't a lot of options out there that are more a traditional mountain bike riser bar shape with not much sweep. The closest alternative I found was the Brick Lane Bike Hobo, and with the Sonder bars retailing at £35, and with a discount code, I picked these up for around £25 plus a bit of postage, the price was also a factor in why I went for these bars over others. I didn't want to spend too much on a bar to find out this bike didn't really suit that style of bar. So it was really just I wanted to try something a little different on the bomb track. The Jones H bar is a great bar but it does have one slight downside to it and that is when the trails are really rough especially on the narrower rough trails in particular it doesn't always inspire oneself with confidence and can feel a little lacking of control but we shall go over that a little later on Chuck this bike i have dropped this bike and they are still holding up really well no dent so let's quickly go over the specs for the different bars first up the jones h bar so the width of the Jones H bar that I have is the 710 millimeter. It's also available in 660 millimeter with a small amount of rise drop at around 13 millimeter. And of course, the most noticeable thing about the bars, the sweep, a 45 degree sweep on the bars. The loop is a 22.2 millimeter diameter and the claimed weight for the 710 millimeter version of these bars is around 525 grams for the aluminium version. As for the Sonder bars, they are a little longer at 760 millimeter, which in the world of mountain biking is probably considered quite short nowadays. As for the rest of the specs, I had a little trouble actually finding them, hence why this video is so delayed, but I managed to get Alpkit to send me through all the numbers for these bars that I will put up on screen now, and also leave a link in the description if you would like to download it for yourself. They do have a slight rise, it's a very shallow rise. The bar also has a small amount of back sweep to help with keeping your hands in a more natural position. Of course, a lot less than the Jones H-Bar though. The bars can be rotated forwards or backwards to change the rise and sweep level a little bit and also it can change how you want to position the loop part of the bar. I have them set up a very slightly tilted backwards to allow the loop to point slightly upwards, giving me the space for the bar roll bag, but not too much so I can still use this loop to get into a bit more of an aero position when pedaling into them headwinds. Let's talk about the pros and cons of each bar. The first thing 
is the loop. They both have this, so they both have this as an advantage for bikepacking. Both have plenty of space for you to mount light, GPS devices, bags, and whatever you like. The downside to this loop on both bars, and really any of these type of looped out front bars, is that they use the standard 22 0.2 millimeter diameter for the tubing the size that your brake clamp mount probably uses however most light mounts or garmin mounts typically use the thicker part of the bar the 31.8 millimeter diameter section which does mean if you wanted to use an out front mount or a particular bike light mount you may have to find workarounds like tape around the bar so this exposure mount fits or get something 3d printed to fit it's a minor niggle but one you should be aware of it's understandable why they do it to save on the weight but it can cause some friction when wanting to mount things on this section of the bar as for the weight, the Sonder bars are slightly lighter than a Jones H bar at around 480 grams, while the Jones H bar is about 525 grams. So if weight is important to you, then the Sonder bar wins out here. But the biggest difference between how these bars perform and feel in the real world is of course in the handling. Both can handle the rougher trails, but one is better than the other probably does not surprise you but the sonder bars feel like they give you more control when you are on the rougher and technical trails whereas the jones bars can feel a little harder to get the bike to go where you want it to go i will say you only really notice this on the narrow single track or rutty trails the jones bar in these scenarios can feel like you don't quite have as much control as the sonder bars this is really due to how each bar changes your position on the bike. The Sonder bars put you in a more attacking position where the Jones bar put you in a much more upright position. So the Sonder bars do feel better suited for them rougher trails. There's no surprise there. However, the Jones H bar was designed with comfort in mind. So how does it compare? Well, between the two, I personally find both comfortable. Like I said, the Sonder bars are a bit better over the rougher trails, but they do also put you in that more of an attacking position on the bike, whereas the Jones bars have you in a much more upright position. One thing I noted in the original Final Thoughts video of the Jones bars was that whilst you are descending and doing lots of heavy braking, the Jones H bar can cause pressure to build up on the outside of your palm. With the Sonder bars, this pressure is spread more evenly across your hands. When I first switched to the Sonder bars, I could notice a slight strain on my wrists, which after a little tinkering with the rotation of the bars, I managed to fix that and no longer feel that pressure or uncomfort. I personally find both bars comfortable. It's hard to say which one is better because in reality, is neither is better than the other. I think if your bikepacking trips consist of lots of rough and technical mountain bike trails and are on the shorter side, and you still want that extra space for gadgets and bags, then the more traditional shaped mountain bike Sonder bar is probably the way to go. However, if you are going on really long tours and perhaps the trails are going to be a little less technical, then the Jones H bar will give you a bit more variety in hand positions, which will be beneficial on them long extended tours. The price is also something to take into consideration. The Sonder bars are significantly cheaper at £35, whereas the H-bar is normally around the £150 mark. They both feel well made, neither feels significantly better in my opinion, and I would be happy to ride either one around the UK bikepacking routes. However, the Jones H-Bar does come in a variety of different materials from titanium to carbon and aluminium like the bars I have here. So if you have the money, you have more options to choose from with the Jones H-Bar. Whereas with the Sonder Bars, you are stuck with only one option and one width. 
Although, at the time of making this video, Alpkit have added another very similar bar to their lineup, the Sonda Scope, which is a flat bar version from what I can tell, but nearly double the price. That's all I have to say on these two bars at this point and I will continue to use the Sonda bars on the bomb track for the time being as I do feel they suit the type of riding that I actually use that bike for at the moment. The Jones H bar might make a return at some point in the future, time will tell. So thanks for watching, hope you found this video useful and until next time, keep smiling, enjoy the adventure. Peace!